the sardine. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Carly and I'm currently doing a true crime story in each of the 50 states. Actually, I shouldn't say true crime, I should say more like I'm just doing covering a crime story that's happened in each of the 50 states because there's so many small stories that we just don't hear about. So that is what I'm covering. And today we are all ready on to Utah. So let's just jump right in. On July 30th of 2019, Jason Chase, 42, well, he's gonna be 42 years old here, was in a Cadillac with four other people in the area of 3300 South and 2700 West in Salt Lake City, Utah. Witnesses say that Jason became angry and started shooting in the backseat of the car. Jason and a 15 year old boy both exited the car and ran after Jason had opened fire. Police say that the car was found in the intersection of 3100 South and 2700 West. So the driver had like driven off, I guess, once they exited. Inside the car, police found Angela Montoya dead with a gunshot wound to her head. Angela was only 34 years old and born in Salt Lake City. She was a mother to three sons who she loved more than anything, according to her obit. She was currently going to school to further her education and she was sitting in the back seat of the car with the 15 year old on one side and Jason on the other side of her. The 15 year old ran to a nearby gas station and called the police and Jason ran to a different gas station and also called the police to report that people were chasing him. <laughs> Boo hoo. When police showed up to where Jason was, he told them that he had discarded the gun and the 15 year old told police when they came to him at a holiday oil. So I think that's like the gas station that he was at. Um, so when they came to him, they found that he had a gunshot wound to the shoulder and a bullet had also grazed his neck. Thankfully, it did not hit him. He had blood on his shirt and had a bullet rusting in the fold of his tank top near his neck, according to the charges. The driver, who was a woman, got shot in the shoulder and also had a bullet graze on her neck, and she later showed up at the hospital to receive medical treatment, and police say that they were not able to locate the gun. Now, I'm thinking that since they didn't name the driver, that there's a possibility that she, too, was underage, because they never named the 15-year-old, which is good. I think that we shouldn't mention minors names in the media unless it's you know because of a missing person or a missing child or something so i'm thinking that that's possibly why i could be just utterly wrong but that's just kind of my assumption so according to the charging documents jason was uncooperative with police and physically challenged the detecting before asking for a lawyer and just to be booked into jail jason was found guilty of aggravated murder and two counts of attempted aggravated murder which are all first degree felonies the court documents show that the jury deliberated for about two and a half hours before coming to their verdict so it seems like it was a pretty open and shut case and that he did it obviously and they had witnesses too so that that definitely helps move the case um along and quickens it up a little bit so that is our case for utah um kind of a short one but there's you know good information on it and it's also a closed case now it's done you know so those are kind of nice to find it's nice finding ones that don't still have like court dates upcoming like we know the outcome to this now so that is my story today if you guys enjoyed it please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below if you want to make sure to subscribe to my channel again only if you want to and for those of you that will be coming back tomorrow for another true crime career video i will see you then bye guys